Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. Today, I want to come to you guys, ladies and gentlemen, um, with some skincare products that I always use, as well as some new in products that I'm so excited to start using. The other platform definitely influenced me <laughs> to buy these items. I do have a few more items coming I have to order them so I'm excited so when I get to those items I am gonna link those pieces the rest of them you guys probably already have seen but I can link those as well now the new products the reason why I am waiting is because I want to use them exactly how the young lady used them in her video and I don't want to skip a step one of the items she didn't mention I just so happened to want it to try it as a toner because I ran out of mine. Uh, for reference, I used to use Eminence products. Nothing wrong with them. I just hadn't re-upped on all of the, <laughs> the items. So I wanted to try these things out now. Now these items are not from the same line. So you may not be into that or you may be. So let me get into the things that I use. I've been using them for a very long time never gave me any skin issues and two product two items that I use um want to say maybe like one of them maybe once every few weeks and then the other one probably every few days and I had them for a long time and they have not conked out so let's get into those first and the first one would be my vanity planet face steamer listen where's the other piece I have this it comes with different nozzles uh, but this one I usually use all the time. I do put distilled water in here. It's such a hard time opening it. That's the only thing. When I have nails, you, you open the... <laughs> Every time I try to... Oh, and it's really not that hard. But it's a little opening back here. You lift it up and you put your water in there. Just slide it up. And I've been using this for few years now and I absolutely love it it has not broken on me which I was surprised because it is, doesn't feel like like the best quality but I definitely would recommend having this um, when I do go to my esthetician she does say that you know don't overdo it with that so I totally get it the other thing is this like face scrubber from Conair like it's old but I just love it like sometimes when I don't want to use my fingers I just feel like being in the mood of like I'm in a spa or something I will use this so those are the two items electronics that I keep in my bathroom all right now let's get into washcloths now I purchased these from home goods they say wash on them they're much thinner than an actual rag but what I am going to do is I'm going to purchase something new that I saw. I think they're called Clean Skin or Clean X, something like that. And you can throw them away. That will help me from washing <laughs> these. Now, I don't know how I'm going to keep up with it because they're not that cheap. And, you know, when you're washing your face, you use a ton of things. So I usually keep a ton of white rags in here. Or, ladies, you can use baby rags because they're smaller. But I definitely love to keep these in here for my face. I do not mix those with any of my other stuff. So when I wash them, I wash them together with nothing else. Um, all right, so that's that. Let's get that out of the way. Now let's get into, like, masks. These... <laughs> These are very cheap, but I love them. I love these a lot. Like, they're very cheap. I know Jackie Aina uses them. She mentioned them, like, many years ago, but I know she says she always, like, racks up, racks up on these. And it's probably because they're, like, a really decent face mask, like, hydrating mask. So I like to keep this in here. Um, the other thing from that line that I like to get is their Hydro Boost. Now... For those of you who know, you know. If you shop at Ulta, hmm, Ulta get a little crazy with the prices on this product here. I don't know, their prices are just a lot higher than most other uh, places like Target. I like this, I probably won't stop using this. I really like it. I did try their, their face scrub 
it kind of gave me like sort of like a heat rash situation on my face. But then when I tried it again, I used, and I'm going to show you, my Neutrogena Deep Cleanser first. And then I put that on top of it and it seemed to work. But I'm going to show you what I purchased to replace that one. So this is something that I have been using. I'm going to give away my age again. I'm 43. I've been using this probably since I was like 18 or 19. Probably whenever it first came out, your girl had this literally have not changed from using this and recently i thought they were like discontinued i was hunting and i found them at walmart and i never go on walmart so i ended up grabbing up quite a few of these in case they were like ready to get rid of them so that's a deep that's the deep cleanse cream cleanser and that's probably why i like it is because it's a cream cleanser they have mm, i threw it out they have a cleanser with the hydro boost, boost line two one was like clear and the other one was kind of like foggy color i only can find that at ulta that one was really good they don't make it any don't know why target seems to always have the one that's clear but that one seems to dry my skin out so i don't even like like to, i don't even use it i just just like forget it. let me just go back to this so this is another thing that I keep in my closet, I mean my closet, <laughs> in my bathroom, in my skincare routine. It's very affordable. I have never had any issues. And like I said, it's probably because it's a cream base. Now my esthetician did tell me when I first started going to her, I told her that I used Vaseline <laughs> and that I used this. And she was like, Vaseline? But she pretty much was saying, by me wearing Vaseline all of those years, it shielded my skin from moisture and from bad things. So it was like a good and a bad thing, right? So I told her that I use a cream cleanser. She said that's also another reason why your skin is probably great. I feel like personally, when I lost weight in my face, it doesn't look the same to me. I felt like my skin looked way better before, but I am older now. So this is another product that I will keep in my my bathroom skincare routine forever. Okay? Regardless of what else I buy, I'm probably always going to use that. And then my infamous face spray. Mario Badesu. Badesu or Badesu? I think that's... I don't even know. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see it. Because the light is in here. But this... I keep this too. This is the rose water one. I love it. It smells really good. It smells like roses, guys. I just spray it on. I usually put this on after I wash my face. And then I put the Hydro Boost. For whatever reason, it makes the Hydro Boost like slide on nice and easy. Um, So that's that. Now, as far as taking off my makeup, I don't even want to bring it out. Where is it? Oh, I haven't. Hold on. <laughs> Do you guys remember? So back in the day when I was young, they used to talk about, oh, how to lose water weight, rub albaline on your stomach. So I was like, what the heck is albaline? Come to find out a lot of boxers would use it on their bodies to lose water weight before like a weigh-in, right? I think that's what it's called. Ciao. Albaline. This is like, <laughs> it's like petroleum. It's like petroleum. I don't even know what's in here. It's mineral oil, petroleum, paraffin. Ca ca this is just probably just terrible for your skin. But let me tell you, if you want your makeup to go off, this sucker will work. It's greasy, but it works. <laughs> and then the other thing is this my micellar water. Um, I like this a lot. This is the rose water one as well. I like the products that have rose in it. It just seemed to... I don't know to me it smells really good it makes me feel like i'm in like a spa especially when i'm in my bathroom i like the calm calmness of the smell of roses so i try to keep that in my thing as well i have a ton of stuff here that well a ton of rose water stuff um i gotta show you guys my bathroom i did that over so what else okay so let's get into the new products new products new products three new products i have a toner coming by ren i'm gonna pop that in here 
Ren, they had like a sale. So I got the largest one. There was no point for me to get the small one. And then I'm gonna get something else by a brand called Skin facial skins I, I forget I'm gonna pop pop it in here they have a vitamin A that I want to try and then they have a cleanser so the reason why I want to try that cleanse because I was using two cleansers at one point but the Neutrogena one that I was saying that was like kind of milky they don't sell it anymore so I just kind of stick to this one and just kind of really try to deep cleanse my face that's a vitamin A and then that's a cleanser and then there is a vitamin C serum that I want to try I was using the one by Eminence that is like $110. This one, the bottle looks a little smaller and it's also more of a milky color, but the girl's skin, listen, I'm reading her comments. People are like, it's so, it works so well. So I'm going to try it out. I'm definitely going to do a deep, deep review once I get into the routine. But like I said, the three things that I'm about to show you, I have a few more pieces that I'm waiting for so I can start them all together. So the first thing is this confidence and cream. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't even know if you guys can see that. Confidence and cream. Um, my ear is back on. It's a moisturizer and I absolutely said I'm going to try it and according to her, this is only two this is two ounces, but this is pretty big for two ounces. It's pretty big for two ounces. It kind of like a little hole situation in it. Two ounces. And I'll get the prices for everything and put it down below for you. So that's one moisturizer. Again, I was using Eminence products and I went on the website yesterday. The stuff has officially gone up okay so that is a new moisturizer that i'm going to be using it's easier for me to go get it from ulta as opposed to ordering the other stuff now ordering stuff is fine but it's annoying because you have to wait for your stuff to come especially if you're getting low on products so i would recommend like when you're halfway through something to definitely go ahead and order your next item um i got a new spf of 50 this is the la roche pose spf 50. I don't know if you guys can see that. Child, if I would have had my other lens on, you'd be able to see everything. Um, so yes, I got this. This was a little pricey too. Okay. Daily, yeah. They're saying that this is really, really good too. I can't wait to like really start and dive into this stuff. And then the last thing is Peter Thomas Roth their firm peeling gel now this is an ex exfoliator the one that I tried from Neutrogena is this one and uh, just lighting is just so bad because I'm in here guys I'm so sorry this is not bad but I told you I have to put on something on my skin first before I use that so I shouldn't have to do that uh, maybe because maybe I have sensitive skin and didn't realize it but this bottle is definitely not big at all. You see my hand. And it's a it's a peeling gel. So basically visibly exfoliates by rolling, lifting, and sweeping away impurities when massaged onto the skin. Multi-action enzymes and uh what is this? Help uncover a smoother, fresher, newer looking complexion. Oh, it says callus child the elves was rolling together um so it says skin, clinical skin care i'm gonna try it out actually oh so when i go to my esthetician she does this thing on my face and it's like an enzyme thing this this has it says one to five minutes before rinsing leave on your face for one one five minutes before rinsing and use up to three times a week depending on skin sensitivity. Three times a week, this is crazy. Once a week, yeah, because the bottle is small. Ooh. So those are the new products that I got in. And I'm going to start using these when my Ren toner comes in. When my, I think it's called, child, let me get the name, hold on. 
is face reality. <laughs> so face reality, uh, vitamin A, and then there is the face reality facial wash. I want to try it out. And then the vitamin C is by Image ID. It seems a little bit cheaper than the one that I was buying, but I'm going to try it out. And when I do, guys, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to do a whole face um, facial for you guys and let you guys see how it works. According to the girlies, from what I'm seeing, it looks really good. So these are the things that are, that are in my facial routine as of today that's never going to go away. My toner ran out. Like I said, I was using the Eminence toner. I'll pop a picture of that in. And I was using the Eminence moisturizer and vitamin C. Those three items, I'm still going to pop them in for you guys in the description. They're really good, but I wanted to try something different that I can get to a little bit more quickly for myself so thank you guys for tuning in very short video i wanted to come to you with some things now let me get backtrack these are not cheap products the new products that i purchased so if you're not into i don't even want to say into skincare but some people will invest in what they want to invest in right so you have folks who love electronics they would never spend money on a purse or a person who loves electronics uh, as opposed to someone who loves cars. So to each his own. I don't really, I don't really think the price is that bad. Um, that's because I've always liked nice skin. If I can make my skin nice by taking care of it, making it look luxurious and luscious, I will. But thank you guys for tuning in. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And I am on TikTok, Coco Styles NYC, and my personal style blog, CocoStylesNYC.com, and my style services, CocoStylesNY.com. And I will catch you guys in the next one.